looks like we're here just in time before it starts raining. So let's go for a walk along the creek and see what we can find. Let's have a look at some of the water birds first. Can you see that stunning blue eye on this little black cormorant? That's a purple swamp hen. And this here is a dusky moorhen. We have encountered these birds before in other episodes, so check out the links if you'd like to see more of them. This beautiful flower here is a grevillea. Isn't that an amazing looking flower? They come in many varieties. Have a look at this one. Wow, what an amazing gnarly tree. It looks like it's in use by an ibis colony. Actually, it looks like they are nesting here. Oh yeah, look at those hungry chicks. So cute. They're very impatient. Constantly bobbing their heads and poking the parent with their bill and making a lot of noises. And there it goes. The ibis feeds its offspring by regurgitating. Another pair is getting ready to start their own family. Wow, that was quite special to witness all of that. These specific black ducks don't pay it any mind. They're just having a little nap. Another duck. This is the female Australian wood duck. And there is the male with the darker hair. This duck here is called a hard head. Not exactly a flattering name. I can assure you it has nothing to do with the hardness of its skull, nor with the stubbornness of the bird. It is said to refer to the difficulty early taxidermists had in processing the head. If you ask me, I think the bird deserves a new name. This is quite a lovely view over the creek. There's a brown honey eater. That's by far the best look we've had at it in the series so far. Oh, and it's singing for us too. Isn't that beautiful? This beauty here is a fig bird. A male. And there's its chick. And the black-faced cuckoo shrike is also in nesting mode. You can really tell it's spring around here. Another Grevillea. A red one this time. If you'd like to learn more about these amazing flowers, be sure to check out my blog. I'll put a link in the description. The rainbow lorikeet loves the grevilleas too. 
and is feasting on the nectar. Such a colourful scene, it's beautiful. Time to walk on. On the way back, we pass the ibis colony on the other side. And I just have to use this special opportunity to have another look. This feeding process is absolutely fascinating. These chicks are a lot bigger than the other ones we saw earlier. But they're still just as impatient. Look how far that bill goes into the throat of the parrot. It's quite violent. It's a wonder they don't get hurt. This eastern reef egress has ventured away a little bit from the coastline, which is where you would normally expect to see it. I guess it's catching a good meal here. We're at the end of our walk now, and if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more and let me know in the comments what you enjoyed the most today. I'd love to hear from you and hope to see you again on the next walk.